this weekend we're working on the ground zero uh, this is exactly where the, the water main breaks Friday's major water main break in Montreal transformed streets and basements into swimming pools. The city says it will take weeks to fix the 84-inch pipe that erupted and caused all the flooding. It's unclear what triggered the nearly 40-year-old pipe to break prematurely. One engineering expert points out that this situation highlights the pressing need to upgrade the city's water infrastructure. It is a fairly new pipe, 1985, I think, so just under 40 years old, which is young for, for pipes, which is supposed to last 80, 90 years, even more sometimes. The salt caused a lot of corrosion on the steel, so maybe that could explain why this aqueduct break yesterday. But again, it's an hypothesis. This isn't the city's first time dealing with the water main break. Another one occurred near the McGill University Health Center in July. I think going forward, continue to do preventative work, especially if there are other types of this material and similar vintage, it's, it's worthwhile inspecting. A 2019 Canadian infrastructure report card found that 30 percent of water infrastructure in the country is in fair, poor or very poor condition. Montreal is not the only city dealing with this issue. Two months ago, a water main break flooded parts of Calgary. I think it is a significant number of our water infrastructure that needs to be rehabilitated and replaced. Due to the nature of the burst and as a precaution, the City of Montreal issued a boil water advisory on Friday, which impacted 150,000 homes. And on Saturday evening, the advisory was lifted. It's also extremely important to follow the instructions because when the boil water advisory is lifted, it doesn't mean that the water is immediately safe to consume because in the interim between when it was when the advisory was, was applied and when it was lifted, there is still that risk of contaminated water being in people's uh, water systems, such as their pipes and their plumbing. Infection disease specialist Dr. Don Vin says if contaminated water is consumed, it could lead to nausea, vomiting and diarrhea. Depending on the type of household that they live in, will and should be instructed to continue to rinse or flush out their water system. So let water run uh, from a faucet, for example, for you know at least five minutes. As the city grapples with the aftermath, it poses a serious question about the future of Canada's water systems and infrastructure. In the last few years, with more awareness, there are some cities that are seeing already the rates of their main breaks going down. So it is possible if there is proactive investment. In Montreal, Sweet Rassi, City News.